most time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, February 2nd. Hope all is well. Well, the morning started off, seemed like it was going to be a good day. It's feeling good about myself. P&L was hitting new all-time highs. You know, feeling good about getting out of my drawdown. And then... <laughs> Did you say your PL is hitting all time highs? And then this happened, and followed by this, and this, and this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had uh, nice dug myself a little hole the first couple weeks of the year, and then got completely out of the drawdown. So I was, I was, uh, and when my my positions were profitable this morning, I was, yeah, hitting new new PL highs. But not to be sustained. Definitely pulled back. I uh, I did a... So I wasn't entering one of my re-entries at the beginning of the day, right at the open. So I decided to go ahead and turn on my 3-2 AM ratio. And like most of you, that one got stopped out. So that was a $5,500 hit. Uh, my 1 DTE also got stopped for minus 2,900. The only other bot trade, I'm in a PM Iron Condors, currently up 11%. And then I've taken uh, I've taken five re-entries. One of them got stopped out without hitting profit target. The other three hit 20% and then got stopped out. And then I'm still currently in one, which has not hit 20%. It's trading at 470 and my profit target's at 460 to hit 20%. So... If you could just oblige me and hit that 20%, that'd be nice. Yeah, for me, I had my first AM Iron Condor stopped out, no profit target. Second one stopped out, no profit target. Third one did hit 20%. It took like three hours to hit it. Yeah, I was in one of those um, too. That was fun. Yeah. And then I've closed out the puts and call the longs on both sides of those. Actually, I've closed out the calls. And puts on both sides of my first two. I still have my longs open on my third one. And I just entered a power hour number one just a little bit ago that I posted. Skewed just a little bit to the upside. So uh, obviously we're in an update today. So I will be trading my power hour update. like for it to just sit there and chop the rest of the day. Trunch one just got filled on the 65 puts, 70 calls, filled at $10 and 60 cents. Sorry, Chad, you started to say something. Well, I was just saying, I'd like to just see it just sit there and chop for the last hour of the day. That would be something. That would be something. 49.70, almost 49.72, 49.71.91, all-time high. I mean, this, just looking at the daily chart, we had the little, little dip for FOMC and then took it all back Thursday and just absolutely exploded today. I mean, I'm just trying to think where I've seen these last couple of days. It's been a while since I've seen it like this. NASDAQ is up almost 
Russell is down a half percent. Dow up about a half percent. Gold and silver red, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield popping up four and a half percent, back up above four. Oil down two percent, natty gas up one and a half, grains a little bit mixed, Bitcoin unchanged, and VIX hovering around 14 still. What did you say you got filled at? Or what was your strikes? Me? Yeah, your 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 tranche one. 6570s and two to one puts the calls. Okay. I got filled at 1060. So this little risk graph is a conglomerate of my power hour tranche one, my um, PM iron condor, and my re-entry trade. I'm sharing some strikes here, so it's going to look a little goofy. And so I hit my 20% on my re-entry. I've got a, uh, so my 40% at 345 and it's trading at 440. So I'll show you guys something I've been working on working on with a developer this weekend and then today it's far from it's far from putting out into the wild yet but um so I've you know I've been using NTT as I've been as I talked about but then I've also this I've got this little indicator here I'm titling it NT chop indicator but basically it's it's taken into account um range as well as multiple time frames, and uh, and I'm working to try to kind of get it to a point where it you know ends up being a pretty decent indication of of when to get in. So right now the way it's set up is you know the gray is nothing when it when it shows a green bar that is an entry, and then I also have uh, sometimes it can give a little bit of a heads up, which are the orange. Um, and so I, I took all these today. You know, so I took this one, uh, hit 20% before getting stopped out. Took this one here. Got, this is the one that got stopped out with no 20%. Took this one here and this one here. Those both got 20% before getting stopped out. And then this one here was my last one that I just took off 20%, uh, just hit 20%. So once that once I kind of get that dialed in, I'll share that with y'all. Yeah, that's part of what I'm doing too. And then I'm gonna I may uh I may enlist Nick or or one of you who all who are a little bit more savvy in that area to help help me with the uh kind of running it running it through downloading from trading view, uploading to option omega with the specific management style to to get more specific on the uh, testing that way too. Another new all time high. Like Groundhog Day. 
So I've got my February 2 time fly that I got to take off. So first graph always starts to look a little goofy on the last day, but it's showing a max loss of 377, but I think it's going to be a bigger loss than that. I've had an order in, so I'm going to let my butterfly expire because it's worthless. And so really it's just about trying to get out of this diagonal. So I'm going to wait. It just, it's, you know, when it gets down to this close expiration, it, it kind of turns into a vertical basically. So I have an order in at 1160, which I've had in, but no fills there. So I'm just going to hold this a little bit longer, see if that'll kind of work its way back up to uh, to get filled here as we get closer to the end of day. So, yeah, so tomorrow the... Uh, Remember, we were short the 4805, or these mine anyway, I'm short the 4805 calls. So it kind of helps to, to break them apart sometimes to understand. So you've got the short 4805 calls, which are here. And then you've got the long 4795 calls, which are here. So it's, <clears throat> it's obviously the, the net between those two. Need a big old chop session here. Yeah, that and that's why I always say with with any type of calendarized trade, you know, you gotta you gotta take the risk graph with a grain of salt. All right, so my PMI and Condor up 25%, reducing some stoppage there. Tranche one up 13%. Power hour brought me back to green yesterday. Let's see if it can do it again today. Like the old days. Remember, we used to be down during the early part of the day and then power hour would come in and just... Take us home. Did it yesterday. Let's see if we can do it again. Chadwick has the old uh I think I think you said you were down, but what's uh what's the damage so far today? Yeah, so six minus sixteen eighty for my AM number one, minus fifteen hundred. Those were the two that were stopped out within any profit without any profit targets. Plus one eighty on my number three. And I still have some longs in that one. I I gotta determine whether to close those out for a little bit or not, but that'll so that'll be a little small winner. 
Uh, and then I'm in one power hour trade that's uh, I'm up in it right now. It's looking good right now. So I'm down, looks like my PL says I'm down 1800 for the day. So obviously scaled back a little bit. Took, and I've only done four trades today, so it's less than normal. Scaled back your size or just the number? <clears throat> yeah, I scaled back my size. Um, the funny thing about the last couple of days was, you know, we had kind of talked about me starting to increase my size. <laughs> Good thing you didn't do that. <laughs> so I, I did that yesterday, really, for the first time. And I did oh, that did where increase? I was doing like, yeah, I did like 10 contracts in the morning where normally I'd been doing six. Gotcha. So... So that was Wasn't a short-lived a uh, size increase. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's it's it's amazing how that happens. As soon as you know, increase right? your size, you get you get slapped around. It's amazing how like clockwork that works. Yeah, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm getting close to getting Phil on 20% on my power hour number one. We always want to, we always want to size up after we've had a good run. Right. Right. And it's just like, it's just at that moment that uh, market kind of shifts and changes a little bit. Seems like, yeah, it kind of happened to me when I started sizing. Oh, I think it was last fall or la early late summer. I was up, up, uh, upping my uh, mighty ninety runners buying power, and I went on. A, I had a couple bad days, right? But I did went bigger in those. Some brokers have algorithms to detect that. <laughs> you definitely, Moral, you probably believe uh, in the second shooter on the grassy knoll too, right? Look at, look at Michael Todd hitting 40%. I haven't seen 40% in like three days. This is, I know, I'm looking at this. I'm getting ready to hit, I was touching my order to hit 45% for the first time today. Didn't quite do it though. Yeah, that's very difficult to do, though, Andrew K. Very difficult. Yeah, that is. Not to mention, you know, could just compound the issue if you're if you don't hit the bottom of that drawdown. <laughs> you just stay right where you're at, Price. All right, so Tronch One's up 20%. PM Iron Condor's up 20%. So let's see, my uh, Tronch One got filled at 1060. Hmm. So 635, I will reduce. My stop on tranche one.
I'm going to, I'm going to probably be seeing price pushes in my sleep, man. After this week, I'll be, I'll be seeing little green bars going up, up, up. What's Meta doing? I haven't looked at that today. Meta? Oh, it's yeah. I mean, I looked at it this morning, but it's having its best day. It's having its okay. It's having a day. Wow, it really came up, but now it's kind of just actually off the side. Yeah, it was up like twenty four percent at one point. Jesus, unreal. Amazon up eight. Nvidia up five. Uh oh. Nvidia hit the uh -oh. number. NVIDIA hit the triple six. It's done. That's it. Apple made a big comeback. Did it? It's back to even after being down pretty, pretty decent after earnings. As long as that. I should probably, you know? Should probably close out some of these longs here. My PMI iron condor is still up to like twelve percent. I did. I I got in mine at one thirty, so about forty five minutes ago. Forty two minutes ago. New high forty nine seventy five. My power is sitting pretty good right now. I sure would like to get filled on twenty percent though. Yeah, that sure didn't. <laughs> Did it, Naughty Dog? <laughs> but it came down that one time. What was the timestamp on that? One twenty-seven. Yeah, well, <laughs> it had a it had a big drop there in five minutes. Is that that wasn't Central Time? I guess though, probably. It's whenever it had that first oh. big drop, or maybe it was the second big drop. Trunch two just got filled on the 70 put 75 calls filled at 835. 70 put 75 calls two to one. So well, that must have been right here. here. You had and we had the big drop. Yeah. Kind of grinded back up, started chopping sideways. All right, getting back down to close to my forty percent. Come on, hit it. There it is. Come on, Theta.
Got filled on half my power hour. 20%. Oh, that's a good feeling. Yeah, that always feels good. Take that risk off. Let's see. I got my original fill was 735. So. My power hour 40% is 440. Trailing stop is. Never above four in power hour, so it's it'll be at four. Now my tranche one uh, got up to thirty percent. It's about twenty three percent right now. Oh, I hit 40% on uh, my, yeah, good point. Sorry, I didn't clarify. I hit 40% on my re-entry from earlier. Not looking like I'm going to take a number two for power hour. Come on, Theta. I will not be taking a number two with you guys during power hour either. Oh, gotta love the poop jokes. Doesn't matter how old you are, the poop jokes just they they never get old. And about seven minutes until tranche three. Sorry, DRB. I was just making a joke there. Are you talking to Chad? What's that? I think he's talking to you, oh, Chad. Yeah. So what makes me uh, – basically, I don't like to overlap, overlap strikes in power hour. Although I did – earlier this week, I did do that, and it worked out for me. So like if I if I wanted to get in one right now, it'd probably be the forty nine seventy five forty nine seventy, which is my current position. So I I'm basically also uh I'll show you this. This will probably answer your question better than me explaining it. Let me uh, screenshot this and Put it in Discord. So I, I won't I won't take a another one unless this gets off centered. So with it sitting right where it's at, there's I'm just gonna I don't want to put on any more risk when I've got I'm I'm making money with it sitting right there. Does that make sense? Now, if this gets stopped out or gets off center and there's a straddle maybe or a, uh, a five wide, 10 wide, then I would take that for a number two. That, that'll be type of stuff I'll talk about in my presentation next week.
next week, February 8th, Thursday after the after the bell. Man, I tell you what, when I was a principal for 15 years and I stood in front of 70 staff members, like nobody wanted to hear me talk. I'm glad you guys want to hear me talk. Were you making them money? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe that has something to do with it. <laughs> Touche. I did, I did end up putting uh, this pretty much the same power hour iron condor on my brother's trade, or in my my brother's trade, my brother's account. So it just got filled on twenty percent, and kind of what made me decide to do that was just seeing the chop that was really starting to happen this last, you know, hour of the day or hour of the trading day here. 45 minutes. Yes. Thank you, Kelvin. I do have to put on my uh, double calendars. I almost forgot. I've got it written down right in front of me, but it's time for a uh, six, seven. Love me a quiet Friday like this. All right, six, seven. Just got out of my re-entry, hit 60%. All right, S and P. You don't really need to do this. I just got filled on my six seven. So that one's posted. <clears throat> I still, I still see. I don't see the point of you coming down here, S and P. Just get back up there. All right. So I just got filled on tranche three. Sixty puts, seventy calls, filled at five ten.
Crunch one's up 30%. Crunch two is a little bit red with that down move. All right, so here in about five minutes, I'll put on my three, six, and four, five, or excuse me, my three, six, and then I'll put on a four, five a little bit later. A little dip and bounce back up. Yeah, it did, didn't it? I was kind of looking at maybe a number two there as it, as it came down. So look at Michael Todd. Lunchtime 20, 40, 60. Uh, Waterman, I use uh, five-minute candles. I don't think I've seen 60%. I haven't seen 40% the last two days yet. There we go. Just hit forty percent. Power hour number two or power hour number one, forty percent. There you go. U.S. military strikes underway in Syria. Tranche one still at 31%, hasn't gotten to 40 yet. Unless I missed it. Ooh, be more trader. I like that one. I love her book. Thinking, thinking in bets or something like that. Noted. So my 60% target is 295. And that's my trailing stop. Exact same. All right, S and P, just hold your horses. One fifty two million sell side.
Let's do a three five and a four five are my two remaining calendars. Here in a bit. Uh oh, is Trade Steward down? Oh, great. Has anyone reported that to uh, Go Big Orange yet in their Discord? So how am I supposed to reduce my stop? Mm. Yeah, this is a problem. Uh, Eli, my my uh, power hour trades are based on price action still. If you scroll up there, that's, that's what I was talking about, uh, the screenshot that I put. My first one was centered, so I wasn't going to add a second one in, in, unless it got off-centered. <clears throat> All right, it's back up. So reduce my stop on tranche one. Back up there. I like to see it settle in right about forty nine seventy two. Tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and close my uh, diagonal here. I just I got to get it out of the way. Let's see what I get filled at. Why? Just why S and P? Mara, I got filled at ten seventy five. Just can't have nice things this week. I closed my uh, that diagonal of that time fly is what I was saying. I just posted it. Michael Todd, 40% power hour. Man, I have not hit 40. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. I did hit 40%. Yeah, trade steward down again. Use a little bounce.
I want to feel good going into the weekend. All right, so you're saying I can manage on my phone? Let's see. Nope, I can't log in on my phone either. Well, Vic's coming down. Now it's back up now. Yeah, I gotta I gotta figure out a workaround though on that. That's not good. So my PMI and condo is up 48%, tranche one up 34, tranche two down 29, tranche three up 17. Need a bounce. Up to about forty nine seventy. Forty nine seventy is my sweet spot. <clears throat> Yeah, I was on the forty nine seventy. Forty nine seventy five. So anywhere between there. NASDAQ up 313. Incredible.
Next week's probably a big earnings week too, isn't it? Uh, I have not looked. I'm set at my four five here. Build on my four five. Did my four or five. Last thing I've got is a three five, which I will put on here shortly. All right, just posted my three five done entering calendars. Could use a little bounce. Yeah, the S and P five hundred just doesn't want me to have nice things this week. Nice, Dan B. Saw you had your biggest day ever. Was it yesterday? Nice. You can have nice things this week. Close to getting stopped down on my power hour. Just got stopped at a trunch too.
Yep, stopped. Uh, tranche one and three are both up about 30% still. Stopped. It stopped me. It stopped me out and then it bounced. You did get stopped or almost? I got stopped out. Both mine, my, uh, the one I posted in for my power hour got stopped out after, but I booked 40%. Um, same trade in my brother's account booked uh, 20% and then didn't book 40 and got stopped out. So here, here's a good example. Like I placed my power hour trade, posted it in the discord. Then I placed my brother's trade, it's the same strikes. And one, my brother's ends up being a scratch trade and my, uh, mine ends up booking 40% where his didn't. So I know we talk a lot of people, a lot of times you say, well, I took the exact same trade. That's just it doesn't take much to yep. make them be a little different. You know what I mean? I mean, there's probably just a couple minutes different there for, for me placing them. All right, Trunch one and three, you're hanging on. Market on close and balance coming here. About 20 seconds. If it's over 3 billion, I will trade it. Two point seven billion sell side. So I'm not quite there. Hopefully the market keeps its head up. So my tranche three is a 60, 70, 10 wide. Nice and centered there. My uh, tranche one is a 65, 70.
Well, that 2.7 billion didn't uh hasn't moved the market yet. Minus 580 today for me. Minus 580 bucks. 580 bucks. Two and two. Two winners, two losers. I guess I can't complain about that. Yeah, but this now, price now action. Now this bounce is happening. See that? With this price action, that's uh, for, the, for the way you trade. I think it's probably pretty solid. Yeah. The uh, My brothers would have booked 40% here if it wouldn't have, you know, had that just little push down. And now it's bounced right back up to where. Let's see. Yeah, he probably would have been out of 40% on that one. But so essentially scratch trade for that account and no change from what I posted earlier because my power hour was a scratch trade there. But I'm green in that account, so it's good. Be interested to know what this closes at today. All right, let's keep our head above sixty-five. Nine six minus nine sixty-five, not bad. Naughty dogs, kind of like we were just talking about. Well, Michael Todd, your morning was not so hot, but your your lunchtime and your power hour. I guess just one yep. each on those, huh? All right, between 65 and 70 would be ideal for me. That push up, man. Yeah. That would be nice. Guys, look at my PMI and Condor on. That's in the 60 65. So, right now, I got to decide if I want to take anything off. Five minutes till. In case you're wondering, today was about today was what? You today was that? about double the expected move. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was uh opened at forty nine thirteen was the open. Still holding tranche one, tranche three, and my PM Iron Condor.
I'm going to go ahead and close tranche one. Tranche one closed at 425, about 60%. I'm going to let my PM iron condor and my, well, my PM iron condor will close at 90%. It's currently at 88 and then I'm going to let my 60, 70 trunch three ride. P iron condor closed at 90%. Now let's see if I can get a trunch three pin. Anywhere between 60 and 70. Not going to quite get back into the green from my morning slacking, but. Not too, not too bad of a day if I can pin here. Just got to stay above 60. One minute to go, currently at 49.61. Looks like Keeping taking an MSC trade could be working. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, Let me go ridiculous. below 60 last on two, me. Last two days, it's just ripped up. A little profit taking going on. Yep. Thirty seconds. Little bounce. Little bounce. Little markup. Fifty-eight. Ah, not the close I was looking for. All right, so I ended up making about two thousand on tranche three. Lost about six on tranche two. Made sixty-three hundred on tranche one. PM iron condor plus forty-six hundred. One DTE minus twenty-nine hundred and AM ratio minus fifty-five. All right, all. Uh, I've got to post the live stream schedule for next month. I haven't done that yet, so I will do that here before the end of today. So you'll you'll see that posted for the live stream schedule for next week. Everybody have a good weekend. Talk to you soon. See ya.